This podcast was originally live streamed on the Non Sequitur Show on YouTube. New episodes air weekdays, Monday through Friday, at 8 p.m. Eastern at youtube.com slash non sequitur show. Make sure you never miss a live stream by visiting www.nonsexshow.com slash schedule. For the latest news, polls and updates throughout the day, follow us on Twitter at nonsexshow or facebook.com slash nonsexshow. That's N O N S E Q Show. If you'd like to get exclusive content, buy weekly private hangouts with Kyle and Steve, backstage access to chat with guests after shows hosted on your channel, and much more, become a Patreon saint of non sequitur. It ensures we continue to improve our show and brings you into the process at the same time. Visit patreon.com slash non sequitur today while the limited spots are still available. The following podcast is intended for those who believe bold ideas are righteous, unique perspectives are gospel, and strong opinions are sacred. This is non sequitur. Never follow. And now, here are your hosts Kyle Curtis and Steve McRae. Well, now, finally, our friends across the pond can enjoy a show of ours. You have been asking us nonstop to do something during the day, and here we are, four hours ahead of schedule. So, uh, cheerio and um, happy tea time. Steve? Weren't you supposed supposed to do that in an English accent? I can't do it. With this country accent, I I I can never pull it off. I can never pull it off. I'm horrible at doing English accents. Yeah, me too. Um, so welcome everybody. Welcome back to the, uh, the show, uh, last night's show, I think turning out to be one of the most popular. If you didn't catch it, I recommend going and watching it. Um, we had, uh, Dr. Don on and he went through several different, I mean, we covered, uh, how many subjects did we cover last night? We covered oh, I think quite a few flat earth conspiracies, uh, uh um, evolution, it's it's fascinating, so you'll want to see it. And the uh, the reviews for him are um, fantastic. And we're actually really excited because he's going to be back with us on a uh, a Saturday night fight. And um, if you're, this is the first time you're catching the uh, the show, then um, number one, where have you been? We've missed you. And number two, we do a thing on Saturdays where is we call it Saturday night fights. We we usually open it up open house by Saturday. It's full. The information how to get involved is um, is in the description of the event. It's already set up on our page. But um, anyway, he's actually going to be in one of the uh, the Saturday night fights. He is going to be uh, <laughs> Doctor Don is taking on Flat Earth. So can, gotta love can you it. Imagine be can you imagine being that Flat Earther to say that you've taken on Doctor Don Prothero uh, yeah. on Flat Earth? Not even about evolution. Not even about a prof- a prof- you now you got me messing up his word. Prothero. Yeah. Um, and can you imagine me, that guy's going to get notoriety, whoever that flat earther is, because that's something that's something to be said that if you're going to be having a flat earth discussion with him, he's a yeah, he's a he's a big deal. Um, the um, it's, yeah, yeah. I think it's got to be it's got to be Wonton. I think he's got to be the, the sacrificial. Um, I, I say that because Wonton actually uh, this is going to this is going to really warm your heart, Steve. Um, Wonton sent an email on Christmas Day saying. Um, Best wishes to you and I, and he hopes that we have a, a wonderful holiday. So, I kind of feel oh, bad for, for uh for for all those times with Wonton, uh, Wotan. I'm sorry, I'll call you Wotan today. Uh, so anyway, uh, let's get into uh, the show tonight. Then uh, we are going to have um, what I think is going to be a really great, interesting discussion. Um, I don't think you could have two people that are on further ends of the the spectrum, but. I think that uh, having conversations between the two would be uh, vital and um, may lead somewhere that um, has a good ending to it, I think. Um, so we have uh, uh, Dr. Uh, Christy Winters, who is a, um, a self-proclaimed – I would 
what wave would you say that you um, identify with, Christy? There, you know, there's so many waves of, of feminism. What's the uh, what's the current yeah. wave we're on? I grew up I grew up during second wave feminism. That's sort of when I came of age. But I certainly take on the critiques of third wave feminism and would consider myself in you know in terms of the ideas I have. I'm you know a third wave feminist in that way. Yeah. Excellent. Well, welcome. Uh, this is your first time here. Welcome to the, uh, the show. And um, also for the first time, we have uh, Sarge. Sarge is the uh, the owner, and he runs the the largest. Sarge, I would say that's fair to say, right? You are the largest forum for um, incels, correct? Um, well, hello. Uh, I would say that it is the largest outside of Reddit. But of course, on Reddit, like anyone just clicks a button and it's subscribed. So you can't really count them as members, I suppose. But yeah, the largest. Sure. Yeah, well, and welcome to you, uh, you as well. Glad to have you both. So uh, we're going to have uh, kind of what we do usually here on the show. Um, Steve and I are going to uh, kind of make sure that things stay on track. But uh, I really want to have the, the dialogue between um, – Christy and Sarge so that they, we can kind of see where if any you know middle ground can be found, where they differ on what points and why. Um, it, we just ask guys that you uh, you don't talk over each other because uh, the people who are listening, it, it just sounds garbled. Nobody can hear anybody's points. Um, we'll give you all the time that you need to make whatever points that, uh, that you want to. That's just the only thing that we ask is that you um, let each other finish um, their thoughts. Um, so now uh, I'm going to turn it over to you guys. Uh, Christy, you want to introduce yourself and let people know uh, who you are, what you do, and kind of how you came to um, being on, an, an online activist? Sure. Uh, I'm yeah, Christy Winters. Dr. Christy Winters um, is, is my official title. I have a YouTube channel. I've been on for about, I guess, going on about three years now. And I initially got involved because I, I wasn't seeing a lot of content um, bringing a feminist critique to things that atheists were talking about online. I'm also an atheist. Um, and that led me into more understanding of what the discussion about feminism online was. And with the election of Trump, my, my channel has definitely taken a more political term in terms of critique. So, yeah, I have um, a very spontaneous kind of content production. I get an idea and I work on it for a while and see how it goes. And people want to find me. You can go to YouTube and type in Christy Winter's channel. That's the easiest way to find me um, because there's a lot of anti-feminists who don't like me. So if you just do Christy Winters, you're going to see a bunch of response videos before you actually see the real content and what I actually have to say. So that's usually my recommendation. Yeah, and that's, um, oh, yeah. I guess, enough for the contents of this talk. Yeah, you had uh, – I guess I should also the, uh, say – Sure. Yeah, um, I, I did my doctoral thesis unpacking empirically the social sciences when we measure man-woman. Um, what you know, I, I kind of questioned what that meant, and so using measures of of gender sort of attributes or or norms from psychology, I was able to include those um, measures of agency and communion, which are gendered in society, into other models of uh, predicting political attitudes and political behaviors. And what I found was that you know both well, it's known in the li literature and psychology that there isn't sort of just masculine mapping perfectly onto men and feminine perfectly onto to women. That both men and women produce varying levels of agency and communion, and that is actually also connected to their politics, um, separate from their biology. Oftentimes, biology no longer mattered once I was able to control for those gendered sort of attributes in terms of how people evaluate their agency and communion. So that's kind of a, a very sum, a short summary. I'm sorry, that's, it was, didn't sound short, but really it was. Um, so I'll throw that in there too, and then I just have some expertise in this field. Sure. Um, and uh, you, you, when you say that you, when you made the comment about um, there's a lot of people who, who, who don't like you, I don't think my, my Twitter has blown up the way that it has today with, <laughs> <laughs> with the, the conversations with, uh, that you had going on on, on Twitter. Every, it's like every two seconds my phone was beeping. So um, I felt popular today. Thank you, Christy. <laughs> You're welcome. Welcome to my life. Um, um, <laughs> and so, uh, uh, Sarge, let's turn to you now. Um, if you want to introduce yourself and kind of let people know who you are and what you do, and then um, we'll kick off the, uh, the talk. Sure, I'm uh, I'm Sergeant Tinsel. That's the the full username, but uh, Sergeant Sarge or anything you want to call me, that's fine. Uh, I'm the owner and uh, administrator of Insults.is, the as you said, biggest uh, insult forum on the web, and uh, I suppose that's it, really. Um, so I'm going to let you uh, continue on now. For for people who are watching that may not. 
be familiar with what an incel is or um, anything about the community. Can you uh, take us through what that actually means and um, the uh, you, you you hinted on it before we started, but the, the process on you know how you kind of monitor your your community online and that sort of thing. Just give us kind of a, a rundown of what it means to be an incel. Of course. Um, first of all, the definition of incel has, uh, I suppose, changed over time, uh, mainly because there is no official authority that uh, authority that uh, says what an incel is. Uh, we have our own definition that we have that it has kind of set the the standard uh, over time as well. But again, if if someone wants to change the definition of insult, I suppose they can. Just like the definition of feminist has changed over the years. Now, what an insult is to me, an insult is a person who, uh, despite having tried repeatedly and over a, a lengthy period of time to be in a romantic relationship, is unable to. And that is pretty much it. If you want to have a girlfriend uh, and, and you seem to be unable to have one, then you are, to me, you are pretty much an insult. Um, you mentioned our uh, registration process, and that is more uh, related to the forum itself. Uh, it, it doesn't have to do whether you're insult or not. Um, we, uh, we reject females and we reject uh, people who are neither insults nor black-pilled. And I understand that all these things sound kind of weird, but I'm sure we'll touch them in time. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, I suppose uh, going more in detail would mean just uh, regarding each case in specific, because, uh, of course, um, when when uh, people register on our forum, they have to type in a, a registration uh, like paragraph or, or you know, they, they have to tell us why they want to get in. And uh, yes, a lot of people, because of the... Um, of what the media has portrayed of insults lately, or rather over the last few months. Um, we have many trolls and many people who don't genuinely care about insults, but they just want to get in just to see how things are like, or um, curiosity that is more, uh, you know, of a lazy kind or, or a why not kind, instead of a genuine, sincere uh, need to know what insults are. Um, I suppose that I should explain now why we don't allow females uh, it, it sure. has nothing and, to do with misogyny. And before yeah. you do that, before, before you do that, um, I just want to uh, briefly touch. If we, you said that you had about ten thousand members just on your forum alone. How how large do you think, as a whole, the, the 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 community or the population is on a broader scale, like not just the forum? Do you do you kind of have any idea of what the numbers are? People who would identify as being an incel? Is there any kind of information on that? Right. Uh, that's an interesting topic, actually. Uh, I personally believe I, I can't give numbers because I'm not an authority in any way or form, even though I'm owner and admin of the, you know, I'm, I'm sure. just a guy, right, at the end of the sure. day. So uh, I'm not, not going to give a number, but the, the number is definitely far bigger than 10,000. I would go into like, there's perhaps millions of people in the world uh, that are insult uh, regarding uh, the, um, the definition that I gave. Um, mm -hmm. now, um, now, 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 sorry, what, what's the question again? um, well, you can go into why you don't allow, um, females and then we'll, we'll go over to Christy and get her kind of, um, right. Take, if she's right. had any experience. So, on, yeah. mm -hmm. so the reasoning behind, uh, no females allowed is it has nothing to do with hatred of women, uh, contrary to what sensationalistic media has tried to portray, uh, but rather because, uh, and well, I could go on, this is a very in-depth topic, but I'll just go, um, you know, surface here. Uh, in general, I'm sure that anyone would agree that if, if a man and a woman, and a woman um, both install Tinder on their phone and uh, the girl is going to get like a, a thousand likes in a minute, while the guy, well, if he's attractive and, uh, and I don't know, genuine or, or whatever you want to think, he, he probably get some likes, you know. But if the man is ugly, uh, unattractive, let's say, no, let's not be very vulgar, uh, he's not going to get too many likes or maybe none. Well, uh, in terms of females, they usually, well, they get a lot, uh, even if they're at the bottom of the barrel, let's say. So uh, with that in mind, it's generally very difficult to say that a female can be insult. Uh, and this is debatable even in the in the community. I've had people say to me that um, they believe females can be insult. I personally believe that you really need to be uh, 